Hey, it's Coach with Tactical Hive, and I'm not on the range today, but I do want to talk to you guys about some training. And the training value kind of compare and contrast between simunition and airsoft. Simunition, something I'm quite familiar with because we did a lot of training with this over the years. What you basically have here is you swap out the barrel and you're using your gun. So there's, there's no difference when it comes to that. You're shooting these uh, little you know, lipstick rounds, we call them. It's actually uh, colored soap in there. It'll leave a welt, as you might see here soon. It also leaves some of this uh, plastic gets caught in the rifling here. So, you know, guys complain about uh, these things not being reliable. But if you keep this thing clean, i.e., you know, get those little uh, plastic shavings out and keep it lubed up, they're really reliable for, uh, for what we use them. So again, you're using the actual gun and it's basically just a barrel swap and ammo. Something else, you know, for safety, a nine mil round will not fit in there. This is nine mil sub-cal, okay? So if for some reason some jackass gets a live round shoved in that magazine, it will not load and it will not fire. So it's, it's a, a very safe um, setup for that. Now, we got Airsoft, which you guys may be familiar with because it's available to civilians pretty much a toy, but it can be used in a training uh, scenario, uh, you know, as a, as a training aid, okay, for force on force. If they're not gonna be as reliable, there's just no way. You know, there's some voodoo going on here that makes this thing work. You know, I'm familiar with how an actual gun works, but I'm not busted into this thing to make improvements or, or even to, you know, fix it if it breaks. One of the, the uh, biggest issues we had with this is the magazines here had the same weight my magazine loaded with actual nine mil it's pretty heavy you've got your ammunition and you've got a little uh container in there for your your gas so this is you know your propellant as well as your projectile problem with this because it's heavy and we we practice dropping magazines with live uh guns but with this one this is all nice and heavy and this little lip sticking up here are plastic so they'll snap off and then you know you got to you know repair it or replace it one of the biggest pluses for us is we already own this one you know if you're going to use your actual gun if you're law enforcement or uh or military or civilian trainers that you know that were authorized to have it through uh the authorized dealers this one here represents a full other system that you've got to maintain so if you're using this if you have a department this is usually the the more cost effective way of, of going about things but you know for your average civilian that just wants to do a little force on force training this won't mark you but it might leave a welt too so we'll uh, we'll do a little compare and contrast today and uh and kind of see what's going on okay so we've got this set up we're gonna do a little drop test a point of aim point of impact we got 30 feet and at the end of 30 feet we've got our unpaid tactical hive intern who's volunteered to be the target so we're going to aim at that uh cross on his back of course he's got the proper ppe on so all right we'll just see all right in three two one all right let's see how that worked all right, so I was aiming straight here, and it looks like we're down here. So we dropped, uh, where are we at? Approximately five inches, four and a half, five inches, and we're a little off to the edge there. You know, these things aren't quite as uh, accurate as real bullets. But now we're gonna compare and see what the simunition does. Same, same distance and same aim point. In three, two, one. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Whew. Amazing, it dropped almost the same amount in almost the same exact place. It so, the same place. <laughs> so again, we're looking at, so zero goes to there. We are at four inches, just under four inches for the uh, simunition and just over four inches, about four and a half inches for the uh, airsoft. 
But you know, I think this is inconclusive. I think we have to do another test. Okay, so that was 30 feet. We've now closed the distance to about seven feet. And we're gonna go with the welt test. Because we wanna find where about what the minimum safe distance is. And you've noticed my unpaid intern here has uh, additional PPE on to just to keep him safe. All right, so here we go. Just going for the lower edge here. All right, three, two, one. All right, hold that. Now with the uh, simulation, three, two, one. Have a good one. All right, let's give those a second to swell up. Okay, so from seven feet, uh, my point aim, point impact was was straight on. This is exactly where I was aiming. Both sides, I want to, you know, get a little separation there. So here, the difference in this one, you got a little bit more red there, but you know, not a lot. I don't think there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of mass there with the, uh, the airsoft BB, you know, to, to really carry it. Now over here, so you see the, the paint splatter just a little at 30 feet, get a little bit of smudge there. But that, that's a good little star pattern. That was a good hit, and it just kind of splattered out there. And there is a subcal nine millimeter welt that's starting to rise right there. And it's getting a little more and more red around the outside edge. So uh, which one of those would you say, in your professional opinion, uh, was more effective? I would have to say, Force on force, both times. There you have it. The force on force <laughs> the flies up. The simulation has a lot more power at close range. So this may not be as, as scientific a, a test as uh, you, know, you, you might expect, but when you're actually running around shooting, you know, science can take a back seat. Now remember, we are professionals, and you know, this is just a demonstration of the tools that we have. So if you like this content, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment.